Alright, what is up boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. As always, thank you very much for joining me indeed for another video today. Please check back every day for new videos. I'm also going to be starting up the Discord again soon, going into the next bull market. So if you are interested, I will be leaving a link below where you can join for absolute free. Or if you want to get the private the private entry, you can also become a member if you want to. Not compulsory at all. Just going to start getting people back into there because I do think it's going to be a good and useful resource for everyone involved. As always as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all your support and interest. You're all absolute legends. And without further ado, I'm just going to take a quick look today at the VeChain chart on the daily time frame. See what's been happening recently. You can see in terms of the macro, I do think this is probably looking pretty damn good to be honest. You can see obviously the massive dump that we saw for the COVID crash. Huge pump. And now we've come back and essentially just consolidated in this area of previous structure for VeChain. Really just consolidating between 1.5 and 3 cents for the past God knows how long it is now. Basically a year and a half. This bear market was obviously quite brutal and really we got, you know, basically a little bit of an overextension to the low to add some more pain. But really looking like we are breaking out of a few of the local resistances. At least as we can see here this year we did see that bounce off the low and then obviously stuck under this resistance. We get the deviation to touch the low of 1.5 cents a few times here. We finally break the resistance in this local area. If I zoom in, you can see that quite clearly. Got this resistance that we've had all year ever since this relief rally off the low. We come down, we get the overextension pain, 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 and then a little bit of a little bit of relief off the low, as you can see here. Breakout, back test, and then continue. We've got the extension here through resistance. Continue again, making a, a local break of this high here and now looking like we might be back testing this previous break for hopefully a little bit more upside obviously getting quite overextended here but you can see we're cooling off on the rsr on the daily time frame and as i said before we're sitting basically about halfway up our range you can see the high and the low of the range here really we're just sitting about halfway up this area and realistically probably expecting a little bit more a little bit more Continuation to the upside in my opinion now that we've back tested this low so many times We'd probably be looking at expecting a bit of a, a test of the high again. You can see we've got that zero zero point That 0 0.23 Fibonacci at 2.7 cents for V chain to test first currently sitting at around 2 cents right now at the psychological level Looking like we broke that level though. We might back test and continue up towards the next psychological target Obviously that would be 3 cents the high of the range is at around 3.2, 3.3 cents here. Obviously, the bear market resistance further along at around 4 cents. So, quite a few psychological targets that do need to be broken and hit in this area here. But I do think overall that VeChain is probably going to end up doing quite well in the next bull market. I do think that it did, it did very well in the previous market. And I would say, considering how, even though it is down a significant amount from its all-time high and it's yet to bounce, these cryptos that our slow starters do always tend to come good in the end and considering its size and also how well it's performed previously i do think it's probably it will probably come up and break its all-time high just like most cryptos probably will in the next bull market obviously there are no guarantees at all in life or in crypto so this is not financial advice whatsoever but i do think in my opinion most cryptos will probably come and at least test their all-time high which would be essentially what we're looking at, a, 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 what, a 15x from the current price for VeChain. A very nice little gain indeed. You cannot get these gains in any other markets in the world really unless you're buying some extremely risky and small stock cryptos, stock ICOs, sorry. So very interesting to see what will happen next, obviously. Everyone's still looking for that fabled $1 area for VeChain, which would be around a 50x from the current price. I think considering the current Fibonacci here, that's a very, very possible indeed. That would only be the 141 Fibonacci here at around 98 cents there. 50x from the current price. That seems very, very nice indeed. I'm sure a lot of people would take that. I do think there are a lot of cryptos that will perform well in this coming bull market. I think VeChain will probably at least come up and hit its all-time high in my opinion. But for now, as a local price prediction, I'd say realistically, with a little bit of bullish momentum that we are seeing, you can see here, with the back test, we could come down, maybe back test a bit lower at 1.9 cents. But I do think a bit more upside in this local area is pretty likely. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching indeed. Please make sure to sign up and join the Discord. That'll probably be popping off pretty damn soon. Going to start sending people to that again. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Cheers.